Hello and good morning. It is half past ten in the morning and I've been in the shower this morning so I've just brushed my hair through. Now it's just a fluffy mess. But um yeah, I thought I'd do a day in the life. Not that there's much happening in the days in our life at the moment, however, um it is a special day today because it's the eighth of May, which is VE Day or Victory in Europe Day um, to mark the end of World War II and its 75th anniversary. So, despite the uh, virus that's happening, um, hopefully, people are still able to do some sort of cele celebrations, whether it's social distancing. Um, street parties or just doing your own in your own house we're just having our own uh just gonna have some party food and things like that and just remember the sacrifice really because the world would certainly not be the world we've known so far minus the coronavirus obviously um had all those sacrifices been made and um yeah so my granddad was in um, World War II um, he didn't really talk about it I wish he did but obviously maybe for reasons that that um, that he couldn't go into he didn't he didn't talk about it um, but I have to ch change my f uh, Facebook profile picture to him and just thought I would mark it that way um i think oh i've also uh, in our local uh, there's a local newspaper called the sunderland echo um they were putting old street party photos and they found one from 1995 i'd have been 20. um i don't look very happy i will insert it yeah here <laughs> uh so you can see but uh yeah um, I didn't look very happy being in the picture, that's for sure. Um, so yeah, so that's what we're going to do today and I hope that you are all enjoying it and celebrating um, wherever you are. And oh, the other thing is, I got some friend mail yesterday. I'll insert the footage from that as well now and then I'll get back to you later on. Bye bye. Oh, look, guess what I have? I've got friend mail. And um, I uh, pulled the tab off because I wouldn't be able to do this with one hand. So it's as far as I'm at. <laughs> God, it's dark. Um, so I'm at the bottom of my bed. This is my feet, <laughs> my bow legs. That you really needed to know that. Um, so. <laughs> Enjoy Love Carla. Oh. <laughs> oh, I mentioned <laughs> I mentioned on the video I should get in some of these I love fries um creams and I've had like the mint one and the is that the mint and the peppermint um and I was like oh I've never seen these before Glitter. Thank you so much, Carla. I'm looking forward to trying this. It seems a lifetime ago, but the scenes they witnessed on that spring day in 1945 have never left them. A tidal wave of euphoria and excitement filling city streets to overflowing and reaching every corner of the British Isles. It's uh, about 20 to 12 and I'm doing this jigsaw. Uh, can you tell what, what, I'm, what I'm doing so far? I'm guessing you will be able to see, but 
I'll show you when it's done. All done. It took me 20 minutes, 47 seconds to do it. So, but I just thought it was apt for today. It's quarter past 12. I'm watching Lex. Um, who's doing a month without spending which is something she finds really really hard to do so massive props to her to do, for doing it and obviously having this is like um, an accountability I guess um, unfortunately the stream is really low so I've had to use my TV because I can't hear it on the laptop on my phone but I've put her on the telly on the big telly and um, with it on full I can hear it so that's cool um, yeah so I will keep watching and see how she gets on hello everyone I just wanted to tell you something I have a massive interest in family history uh, ancestry all that sort of thing and it was very close to my granddad and um, he never talked about being in, in the war or anything um, but when I was doing a google search once on his name I came across this World War Two People's War um, stories which is like archived on the BBC homepage and it brought this up because his name had come up in it and I thought oh it's probably just going to be someone else you know because obviously like I said he didn't talk about it and I believe he would have been in the uh, Royal Engineers um, but again I'm not 100% sure um, but there's a story in this part and I'll read it to you and it says as we approach Tuscany we entered the city of Siena, which boasted a large manor house reminiscent of Chatsworth House in Derbyshire. Fortunately, the Germans had vacated the mansion only an hour or so earlier, enabling us to e explore the place in comparative safety. We found great cellars containing massive ca casks, which they stored wine and olive oil, the products of which the farming tenants paid their rent. Predictu predictably, before the German troops evacuated the house, they had knocked the bungs out of the barrels, leaving them, leaving all the contents awash on the floors awash with a sticky mixture of wine and olive oil, uh, the smell of which lingered a long time. I saw battle-hardened battle men actually crying at the waste of the good wine. On one of the turrets was a clock that the locals had told us had never worked during their lifetime. One of the group who hailed from Sunderland by the name of Ernest Mountain, whose, whose trade was a, ditch, a dispatch rider, um, where in Simi Street he had been a photographer, he also happened to be a very talented instrument repairer, so was more use to the unit repairing the many delicate instruments brought to him brought to him than riding a motorbike which was the job of the dispatch rider um, as it was very dangerous and especially on the, these roads without taking into account enemy action many of the roads were dirt roads with vehicle convoys going each way the dispatch rider was sometimes caught between the two sets of convoys Many were killed and injured because of the clouds of dust the vehicles kicked up. Um, he liked to specialise in watches and clocks. Ernie, one day, climbed up the turret to the clock and made it go. The result was that the locals came in droves from the surrounding countryside to see this miracle and stared in awe at the clock that had never worked in their living memory. It is also worth recording the fact that the date on the clock was 1769. Now, my granddad was 
called Ernest Mountain. He uh, was born in Hartlepool, however, he lived in Sunderland at the time of this. Um, he was a photographer in real life at the time. He used to repair, well, instruments as, as it is here, but it was, I always remember him tinkering with clocks and watches um, from all I can remember him ever doing. He would be sitting tinkering with clocks and watches. Um, so yeah, it's a really cool story into something that I found afterwards. It would be amazing if I could ever find it and then go and visit it. And I, I still wonder if it was, um, if it's still running, if it still works now. Um, I've, um, as my birthday present, I've asked for my granddad's, uh, as part of my birthday present, I've asked for my granddad's, uh, war, um, records, like his army records, which my mum, being his oldest living relative, has to be the one to apply for, which she said that she would. I think there's like a £30 charge or something, so, um, but I can't wait to sort of read it and just kind of prove that this was him, you know, so, yeah, it's really cool. I'm currently watching, well. it's uh, so, 25 past um, 3, to and I'm currently watching the 50th so. episode Thank you so much, of ladies. The Reseller you Ladies, ladies. and so I also so have a few bits of party you know food for um, yes, VE Day. <laughs> Hello everyone, it is 5pm. And I've come out for a da my daily bowl, as I should say. Um, it smells very much like barbecues out here. It's all you can smell. It's lovely. It's a lovely night, like night in night. It's it's warm. It's not cold. And the sun, although sometimes goes behind a cloud, it is around. But it's lovely. Um, there's a few people out where I live uh, having a bit of a street thing. Well, some of the neighbours are anyway. Um, we've got, um, well, I've got a little bit of alcohol left up before, and Laura's got a little bit, and I've got a few, few to a few tunes blasting and stuff, but I just wanted to come out for some fresh air because I haven't, I haven't been out today. And whilst it is lovely, I might as well enjoy it, might not. So, I will be back if I come across anything interesting. <laughs> Hello. Maggie. Come on in. Hello. Oh. <laughs> What's the matter? Hello. I am. Um, I'm under my tree at my roundabout. Well, you know, not quite my roundabout, but it's what I like to call it. And um, I was just thinking, I've had like the worst year for food. But the reason I think I've had the worst year for food is because I've decided that from tomorrow, I'm starting afresh fully. Like I've done my meal plan. It's all written out for tomorrow. I know what stuff we've got and I know what I'm having and the calories I'm having and all that. So today is kind of like, a blowout because <laughs> why is it do we do that why do I have this kind of blowout just before we start afresh so I've had like sort of like a picnicky food this afternoon uh, to celebrate VE day and I've had some sweets I've had strawberry laces I've had um, and then tonight we're having a Chinese the Chinese 
that we usually have. Um, they have been shut and they reopened yesterday. Um, and they're like inundated at the minute with people wanting food from them. So you have to like book really early. So I've booked really early. Um, I'm going to have that. I'm going to enjoy it. And then I'm going to get back on it because I really have to. Like I have to. There's like no going back. I'm going to be. It's six weeks. As of tomorrow. Six weeks to my birthday. So I've got six weeks of being good. I'm going to enjoy my birthday and then get back on it again. That is the plan. Anyway, I'm going to sit here a few minutes, enjoy me roundabout, and I will catch you in a bit. Hello, everyone. Um, <laughs> me and Laura's having a few drinks, and we're playing this game where you guess the theme tune to the move, movie. In it, I. I tell you, I've had a drink. No, I've only had a drink and a half, um, but she's she's beaten us. Jasper's like not playing at all, he's bored. James Bond! <laughs> but does it have to be a certain James Bond? Yeah, I think so. James Bond, yeah. So it must be like at the start, it's just. <clears throat> I know that, but I don't know what it is. E.T. 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 Fun Home. <laughs> Tears. Beverly Hills Cop. Do 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 do. In it? Do 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 do. It's Beverly Hills Cop. I'm sure it's where I came from. Yes. Yes, me. <laughs> yes, me. <clears throat> so in my drink, I've got Echo Falls Summer Berries Vodka, which is very nice, and then a little bit of. Um, Tesco's smooth pure orange juice and then topped up with lemonade it's very nice it's now just after 8 um, I've come back into my room my legs are really heavy and uncomfortable today I don't know why um, we have our takeaway ordered for nine, so I'm just going to chill out and watch something. Uh, and before I forget, if anyone has any interest in family tree or ancestry, that sort of thing, you can search the UK records on ancestry for free up until uh, 12 o'clock midnight Sunday, I believe. So um, get yourself on and have a look. Dig into your past and see what amazing things you find. Um, other than that, I will catch you later. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe um, if you want. <laughs> uh, bye bye now.